Hi folks, it's Moz here and this is my build of the 135th scale Ferret Scout car Mark II from Airfix. So welcome to my Airfix Ferret Scout Mark II build. So occasionally I'll just pipe in with some recommendations as the build goes along. I've got really much to say about it because it just went together like a dream. It's a lovely kit to build. So this is the point now where you've got to decide which radio you want to use. I opted for the two small ones. So now it's time to spray and I'm using Outlaw Paints Aluminium for this. Just giving it one huge coat all over the parts. That green I'm using is NATO green from Outlaw Paints. The black is also Outlaw Paints and I've used that on both seats. So a little bit of Tamiya panel line going around the model just to give it some definition. At this point, can I ask, if you're not a subscriber, will you please help the channel and be a subscriber? All you have to do is click subscribe, and if you ring that bell, click all, you'll be notified when I release a new video. Likes, comments and being a subscriber really helps the channel grow. Thank you. After spraying this up with aluminium from Outlaw Paints, this just clicked together and then glued and it was easy to do. It fitted absolutely perfectly. The hatches can also be used as masks. So if you want to use them to stop the paint getting into the vehicle, just pop these in, they, they click in, and then if you want to, you can cement them in like I do here, because I want these ones closed. see how well the fit is on this model in fact there's only one place I've used masking tape to hold things together and that's in a minute All 
I've done here is use cement, no masking tape. It just lays lovely. This is the only place I've used masking tape, just on the front, but everywhere else is just pure gold. Now we move on to priming. I'm using the Outlaw Paints primer on this model. I did also use NATO Green in places just to test out the colour and I was really happy with it. But yeah, so this is the coat of primer which I will use for pre-shading as well. Just a note on how lovely that primer goes down from Outlaw Paint. I did with the tires is cement them together and spray them tire black from Outlaw Paints. Putting the axles and the suspension together was one of the fun bits of the kit actually. It went together really, really well. It's so well thought out, as you can see, it's just, it just goes together in position. It's really, really well, well designed and thoroughly enjoy doing this part of it. <laughs> Again, all the wings here went together like a dream and just fitted to the side of the body really, really well with just a little bit of cement needed. And as you can see, no masking tape used at all here to keep it in position. Good fitment.
as you can see the parts just sit lovely on the turret and I do apologize I've lost the footage of the turret being completed so apologies there but it went together like a dream After uh, white on black shading, I then got out the NATO green. And I actually like this green. I People can say what they like about green, but I think green's green. And if it looks right, I'll use it. And I think this green looks absolutely brilliant on this model. It really does make it punch. Best decision FX ever made was using cartograph decals. Not an issue with any of them. The registration number plate on the back, the flag is attached to it. I thought it was two pieces, but it wasn't. So you need to force the flag over the rivet almost on the left hand side to make the number plate center. Love this jerry can. The handles and the spout all separate make it a really good looking jerry can. It's not just two bits together. It, you know, there's a lot of thought gone into this jerry can, hence why I've taken time to show you it being put together.
Well, there you go. That was my build of this Ferret Scout. And I'm absolutely overjoyed with this kit. It is absolutely delightful to build. I had so much fun doing it. I, I still got the smile on my face. I look at it now and I'm thinking, well, do you know what? You know, we've been waiting for it for over a, you know, over almost a year now since we got told about it in the January. And now it's on my bench. I've built it. And I can honestly say, if you've not built an armoured vehicle for a while, have a crack at this one. You're going to love it. I used um, Outlaw Paints. This is my first build using uh, Outlaw Paints. And I think I've done a really good job with using those paints. But they are very forgiving. Um, weathering, I use Streaking Grime. I use Kirk Soil from uh, Ammo by Mig. Panel line accent color from Tamiya, you know, just to put some depth into and, you know, just to keep the lines looking a bit fresh. So that's really basic. I've got to say about putting, you know, the actual um, coloring in, I should say, of the, of the vehicle. And as I said, it just went together absolutely wonderful. You know, hats off to the Airfix team. And congratulations to Ethan, this being his first project for Airfix. I think he's done a phenomenal job indeed. Building or engineering and designing this kit. Fantastic, fantastic. I think you should go and buy one. I will leave a link in the description box below where you can get one from, which is the Airfix site. I do apologize for not getting the uh, turret filmed. I filmed it. And it went, the turret went, and also putting the lights together, they also disappeared, which was a bit of an annoyance. So I don't know what happened there. They just, well, I uploaded them, and then when I went to the files, they were corrupted, and I just don't know why. I really don't. It's such a strange, never happened before, but yeah. I do, I'll tell you what I did also use was Posca pens for the mirrors, okay, and on the lights as well. I use the Posca pen. Okay, get yourself some of these. Just easy, just to um, to uh, put some uh, chroming. I don't think there's anything else I can say about this kit. I've built it, you've seen how I've done it, and now it's your turn to do it, indeed. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, ring that bell, click all to be notified when I release a new video. Any questions, any comments, leave in the box below, because I do reply. And if you want to become a channel member, please do by clicking join below and selecting the tier and you'll help this channel financially like the folks have done here on the screen. If you've not seen my previous video, click here. And if you'd like to see a playlist of other model builds, click here.